modern sense of what parkour is, I would say probably originated um, from a guy called George Herbert. He was in World War I and he was stationed in an African country and he was amazed by the physical prowess of the local communities and how easily they would be able to move, utilizing swimming, climbing, running, crawling, all those type of things. He realized that this way of moving, this natural way of movement, um, worked to the best of advantage of man and he created something called Movement Natural which he then introduced into the military, into the French military, took the name Le Parcours du Militant, which literally meant the way of the military. And it was installed into this military lifestyle, their training regime. And through that gained quite a lot of traction and using an urban environment to utilize your body to get the best out of your body and also utilize it in a way which is the most effective and efficient way to move throughout a certain known or unknown environment. Everyone has this misconception on what it is. People watch YouTube videos and don't understand all the preparation going behind what those people in the YouTube videos do. So that this conveys this idea in media that everyone is just adrenaline junkies, um, stuntmen doing crazy things, jumping gaps between five-story buildings. Yes, there are a lot of injuries, but if you compare it to other sports like rugby, soccer, other impact sports, it's really not that hectic compared to those things there's not not that many injuries there are a lot of like rolled ankles and scrapes and bumps and bruises but that's part of the game that's part of any game a lot of people in SA don't really understand uh, what parkour is and I mean um, people of my to my skin tone generally just think that we're, we're doing crazy things because it's, it's not something you generally see from people of my skin tone you know so when my parents saw me doing that it was just like why a lot of times you get crowds and it will always draw crowds but you have some people in those crowds that would specifically like you to fall and i honestly don't, don't like that because that's just, that's just rude. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. People, um, you know, if they're insecure about something that they can't do, um, they will, they will wait for you to fall or they just, they would like to see, see other people fail. If we were to go into Pretoria Central, I think we'd get a lot of uh, weird reactions from people. People wouldn't be like, they'd have no idea what we're doing. I really dig it. I love the community vibe about it. I love the aspect, a lot of diversity in it. We've got people from all different races, different walks, different countries even. And it's a beautiful thing to see, especially in South Africa, which is a country that was riddled with an inequality in the past. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see. I, I just think it's because people don't do it that much and there's not much information about it, you know? So it's unlike it's unlike any other conventional sport that you see. So going from all of that and condensing it into one word, what word would you use to describe parkour? Man. Expression. Um, I'd have to say freedom. So can I describe parkour in one word? I'd say liberating. I would, I would use a freedom. It's a sense of freedom, definitely. Parkour is the art of movement.